Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Milam. Thanks for stopping by WKYT.com. We searched the WKYT Sports Video Vault and we found you a gem. We first met Wesley McGriff back when he was an assistant head coach at Kentucky State in 1995. Since that time, McGriff has risen through the coaching ranks, which included stops at EKU and UK, where he coached defensive backs and running backs. Back in 2001, Rob Bromley introduced us to McGriff. Who would go on to coach Artus Pinner, who led the SEC in rushing? Wesley McGriff is no stranger to Kentucky. He's coached at Kentucky State and EKU. Now he'll handle the running backs for Guy Morris. Man, I tell you, you know, I laid in bed a lot of nights you know, after coming over here four years working camps. And I said, one day, you know, one day I'm going to work at a place like that. But I didn't think it was this soon. But this is a blessing, you know, to be in the area. And uh, I stayed in the same house and worked at three schools. Now, that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> McGriff is full of enthusiasm, something his players appreciate. He energetic. I don't think he ever run out of energy. But he's a real good coach. I mean, he tells us every day, when, from the time we step on the field to the time we leave, he wants to give 110%. And he ain't, we ain't going to never leave this field without saying he ain't never pushed us to be the best. So, I mean, he's a good coach. And I like that about him because that's the type of coach I had in high school. Chad Scott led the Cats in rushing last season as a freshman. And junior Artus Pinner should see plenty of action along with him. Scott ran for over 600 yards last year. He's not that big. But he has excellent speed and the ability to shake tackles. I mean, this kid has amazing talent. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him line up on Saturdays and get the ball in his hand because he has a lot of things that coaches can't coach kids with. He has speed, great vision, and he can finish a play just like that. So when you see him break for 50, 60 yards, I taught him all that. <laughs> I was proud of what I did last year, but I felt I could have did a little better. To come out of high school, I kind of just jumped right in there. I didn't know the like, uh, linemen, blocking schemes and, and everything. But now I know where everybody's supposed to go at, where the hole is going to be, and then the options if uh, the hole isn't there. So, I mean, I should do a little better this year. On occasion, Kentucky will employ a two-back set with a running back and a fullback. I fell into some good talent. Uh, some talented kids here. Uh, we just need to refine that fundamentals technique as it relates to the running game because they're not familiar with it. But we will put the ball on the ground a lot more, but we're not going to abandon our attack. But these kids are really running the ball very hard. I look for some great things out of all the running backs, Artus Pinner, Chad Scott, and even Martez Johnson. But I got some great fullbacks to lead the way. McGriff eventually made his way to the NFL where he coached the secondary with the New Orleans Saints. He's currently coaching the defensive backs at Auburn where McGriff is the co-defensive coordinator. Not bad for a guy who was a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army back in the 1990s. I'm Brian Milam. Thanks for clicking on WKYT.com, your home for news, weather, and sports.